Hey everyone, Mr. Dustin here. We have a painting project for you at home today. We're going to show you a list of all the ingredients that you'll need at home to paint along with us. But you'll need assorted food coloring, a tub of Cool Whip, and as you can see I've already mixed up here alizarin crimson, some cad yellow, sap green, phthalo blue, and of course titanium white. We're going to experiment with mixing some of these colors up that we see if we can get some other colors in these other tubs here. And I'll bring you in closer to show you how that works. So I started mixing with the alizarin crimson and I took my red food coloring and added about seven or eight drops to the whipped cream. Stirred it around with a fork, it works better than the spoon. And I've gotten this color. If you add more food coloring, you'll get a richer color. And I've done the same with the various colors of food coloring there. Now, if you come in closer, we'll experiment and see what can we get if we add some more alizarin crimson, about four drops, and then some more phthalo blue, about four drops. Now, this should result in a nice lavender color, and we'll just mix that around. Very good. Nice lavender color. And then we're going to clean our brush and we'll use a, a odorless paint thinner. Then we're going to mix up, again, the alizarin crimson and the cad yellow. We should be getting a nice orange. Three drops, alizarin crimson, three drops, cad yellow. We're looking for that orange. There it is. And if you wanted more to the red side, add more red. And if you wanted more to the yellow side, add more yellow. There you go. Kind of reminds me of yellow ochre. So those are the colors that we can use, and then we're going to clean our brush one more time. Odorless paint thinner. Now that we've got our colors ready, we will take these and we'll start painting with it. I've got my two inch brush here and my palette. If you'll notice, there's no colors. Ordinarily, I would mix the colors on the palette and then paint on an already wet canvas. But today, I'm actually going to be painting with just my fingers. So we're going to paint a nice rainbow in the sky. And it's going to go right there. Just mix the paint right on the canvas. Now, I've already covered this with liquid clear so that the paint will spread very easily. I'm going to go with orange. And you can always remember the colors of the rainbow with the phrase Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow. Green. Blue, oh, I'm starting to mix my colors here. I don't have indigo, but then we have violet. And there you have a nice little rainbow. See, right there. Now that we've finished our happy little rainbow, we decided to paint a happy little tree. And to do that, I've actually mixed up some Van Dyke brown here. And in order to do that, you'll need the alizarin crimson and the sap green, and just keep adding equal drops of each until you get the brown that you desire. So we're going to go ahead and take our brown that we just created and we're going to make a, a trunk here. Just nice and easy. Very good. And we're going to add a little bit of grass around the base. Nice. Then let's make all the leaves. It's a happy little tree. Just add the leaves around as we go until you get what you're looking for. And there it is. That's a happy little tree. Thank you for joining me painting today. This has been a, a fun day and been able to create my masterpiece as a happy tree and a happy rainbow. A lot of people think that they can't paint, but it's not, it's not that difficult. You can paint right along with us. 
It's just as easy as mixing up the colors for yourself. Anyway, hope you have a good day. Happy painting and God bless my friend.